What's up, Eagles fans? Amy Campbell, Fran Duffy, back again with the Eagle Eye in the Sky, back off of the bye week, yes. and this team is ready to go. And we're going to see a new offense for the Eagles with a couple of additions. Darren Sproles is supposed to be back this week against the Cowboys, and the new face around the NovaCare complex, Golden Tate, traded from the Detroit Lions. Let's take a look, Fran, at what it is that Golden Tate can do for this Eagles offense. No question. I think when you look at Golden Tate, really it comes down to two things, competitiveness and yards after catch. And those two things, I think, kind of go hand in hand. And you're going to see here on this play from earlier this season, here's Golden Tate at the top of the screen, and he's going to be running just a shallow crossing route. This is a play that is in the Eagles playbook. They ran it probably 17 times in the Super Bowl, and we're going to see him run just across the middle of the field right underneath Seahawks linebacker Bobby Wagner. Not only is he going to work through traffic, this is the first down marker right here, right on the 30-yard line. He's going to catch this ball short of the sticks. Again, dealing with Bobby Wagner, dealing with this corner who's going to come up and try and intersect this route. But you're going to see that competitiveness really come to light here. He's going to work through traffic, secure that catch, make one man miss, get past the first down marker, make another man miss. That is the hallmark of Golden Tate's game is he's got that ability to make plays with the ball in his hands, and that's what makes him one of the best receivers in the NFL. Yeah, when it comes to yards after the catch, there is nobody in the league who does it better than Golden Tate. And he does a lot of things. We've been hearing all week so many things that the Eagles love about what Golden Tate can do. Let's take a look at something else that he brings to the table. Yeah, I think this is a way that I think that he'll be used in this Eagles offense, and that's with a, a variety of horizontal stretches. We all hear about stretching the field, right? Getting guys deep down the field on a vertical stretch. That's one way to stretch the defense, but then the other way is with the use of horizontal stretches, and that's using the width of the field. Sometimes it could be with bubble screens. It could be with jet sweeps. We're going to see him here take this jet sweep against the Miami Dolphins and embarrass a, a former Eagle here in Kiko Alonso oh as he's going to be left unblocked. That's Golden Tate in motion. He's going to be left one-on-one -on -one with Kiko Alonso and watch him just get to the perimeter. There's Alonso there, and he's going to get to the edge here and make this play down the right sideline, a 30-yard run for Golden Tate. Again, his ability to make people miss in the open field. You see that competitiveness. He goes for another six, seven, eight yards after contact. That's Golden Tate's game there, uh, there on the perimeter. And I think that's a way that you'll see him used in this offense. Well, and a lot of the questions that we're hearing about how he fits in is what does that mean for other guys in the Eagles offense, Nelson Aguilar and the, the other pass catchers there? He really opens things up for them to do even more. Let's take a look at how the Eagles might use him. Yeah, no question. I think we can go back to the first year with Doug Peterson's offense and all the different misdirection elements. you got guys going not just vertically but also horizontally like I said and this is a good example this is the third game of the year against the Pittsburgh Steelers here's Nelson Aguilar he's going to come in what's called orbit motion from uh, in the backfield from right to or from left to right so watch here as you're going to see Carson Wentz bring Brent Selleck over to the one side there goes Nelson on the other so you got the play action fake to Darren Sproles here's the reverse fake the end around fake to Nelson Aguilar and watch what this does to the defense is it really essentially cuts the entire field in half. Look at that entire group of the Pittsburgh Steelers, that defensive line, you've got linebackers, all of their eyes are on Nelson Aguilar in the backfield. And what that leaves now is one, two, three blockers against two Pittsburgh Steelers defenders here. Darren Sproles is going to get this screen pass. This seems like it's a long time ago, yeah. but you still have these plays in the Eagles playbook. It goes for 40 yards here against the Pittsburgh Steelers. That's Darren Sproles, obviously, like you mentioned. Yeah. The Eagles hoping, hoping to get him back in the fold here this week. Now, when you looked at just a couple weeks ago against the Carolina Panthers, very similar situation. You're going to see this time that's DeAndre Carter in motion. Here's Carter. He's going to come on the orbit motion this time. You're going to get a couple of vertical stretches with Shelton Gibson at the top. There's Nelson Aguilar at the bottom. They're both going to take the top off the defense. You want to find out how are Golden Tate and Nelson Aguilar able to work together? That's exactly one way. You're going to have uh, Nelson Aguilar run vertical. This, I would imagine, would be Golden Tate in the backfield running this little orbit motion. Again, you're trying to take the eyes of the defense, and it works exactly the same way. Everybody's cut in half. You've got all these defenders here. Everybody here taken up by that action in the backfield. There's one block. Here's another block. You've got another offensive lineman out, and you, you get an 11-yard catch here from Corey Clement. Now, 
You substitute DeAndre Carter for Golden Tate. Right. You Different players nope. are going to be on the field possibly doing this exact same thing this week. No question. So you take out Golden Tate or putting Golden Tate for DeAndre Carter. You put in Darren Sproles for Corey Clement. Gives you an idea of how he'll be used in this offense. Yeah, as this offense continues to evolve and get more and more pieces, it couldn't be coming at a better time. Yep. Off a of bye week, night game against the Cowboys in prime time. Obviously, I'm very juiced. I'm very <laughs> excited about this. We'll have you covered for everything leading up to that and beyond, of course, as we always do at Philadelphia. Philadelphiaeagles.com.